I'm here at 564 Blazing something, Blazing, blazing Trail? I don't remember. Anyway, the outside is very pretty. And I think you're really going to like the inside. This house reminds me a lot of the house in Mundelein that you guys, well, not you guys, but you, Kathleen, liked a lot. Um, I'm standing in the entrance so you can see there's hardwood floors throughout the whole living area. So when you come in, over to the left is a large dining room. Here, the entrance to the garage is right here. And then straight ahead is the family room. 12 foot ceilings, fireplace, tons and tons of windows. Here's the kitchen. I know oak cabinets are a big no-no, but they are very big, very tall, tons of storage. The appliances are new. So you have the bar height countertop here, sink, dishwasher, The double range. Refrigerator. That's a pantry. And then the cooktop and microwave. Again, a ton more cabinets. Beyond that, here's the dining room, another entrance to the Beyond dining Beyond the kitchen is, again, humongous windows on all sides of this home. They have a little eat-in breakfast nook area. And then they have this really beautiful, it looks like stamped um, concrete patio, which is a lot less maintenance. They're growing some chives and whatnot. But here's the lot that is forest preserved back there. It's a beautiful lot, very private. And then you can see the patio has a couple steps down and then goes all the way around here. So from in the eating, eat-in kitchen, it's the bar stools there, is the family room. Again, the very large windows on either side of the fireplace. The fireplace, it looks like they just regrouted it with a gray all the way up to the ceiling. They have very large furniture in here, as you can see. And a small TV, built, there's plenty of room for a large TV in here. But it's a wonderful space. It's open, there's a ceiling fan. Lots of space between the banister downstairs and even just this sofa table. So this is the view, family room, kitchen, and then the front door is right over here. As you come in here, this is the master, it's the double doors, it's a wide entrance. The master is very large. 
Again, very private, facing the backyard. Lots of space. The bathroom and the closet are right around here. This is the walk-in closet. It's definitely not the biggest closet we've seen, but it is large. There is carpet throughout the entire like bedroom area. Um, the carpet feels really nice. I know you don't love carpet. There's a little stain and stuff that could be um, kicked out with cleaning. Okay, so here is the bathroom. Here's a little toilet room. Then there is a big soaker tub. Again, another window double vanity again with the oak color could be you know fixed but this is a stone top it's nice really neutral i'm sure you love those <laughs> and then there is a stand-up shower coming out of the master uh linen closet this is the um, guest bath for the girls. Just a single vanity, same uh, neutral top, toilet, bathtub. Oops. Everything in this house is so clean. Um, I mean, it's really nice. So there's a bedroom to the right that they're using as an office. So this could suffice as the den, if you'd like. Facing the front of the house. They have a little day bed in here. And then across the hall is the third bedroom. The third bedroom has double closets. So that's nice. A queen bed and windows facing the front of the house. And then back here is, oops, the laundry room. So utility tub, they have some storage back there that's not built in, so they may take it with them, uh, but there is a little alcove there. And then um, basically a brand new washer and dryer. Down the stairs into the basement is a full basement, uh, completely unfinished, a ton of room for storage. There's your sump pump back there, needs a battery backup. Extra large water heater. Here's the furnace, the furnace is a train. So it will probably outlive all of us. <laughs> it's really nice. I think it's probably brand new. Uh, I'll have to look at the date. Water heater. And then all this extra storage over here. 